My childhood bully asked me out. I was heavily bullied from the beginning of kindergarten until the end of middle school, when I transferred to a different town. My classroom had 15 children, me excluded. Out of these 15, seven of them used to bully me constantly and the other eight simply ignored what was happening. Out of the seven bullies, four did some particularly heavy shit, I will call them the B team. You can guess what B stands for, while the other three did some random lighter things, throwing paper scraps at me, stealing pencils and things like that. I will call them the C team, or act as followers for the B team. What the B team did to me scarred me for life and I had to go to therapy to deal with it. If I met them today, I would make them pay for everything they did to me. My hatred for the C team is not nearly as big but it's still vivid. Until last year I couldn't bring myself to forgive anybody in that classroom, both teachers and students, for doing nothing to help me when the B team was tormenting me. Last year, though, my hatred started to fade following some serious events in my life. When I transferred, I swore to myself I would never go back to that town or talk to any of them ever again. Despite that, my past has found ways to follow me, I work in a pub part-time twice a week and around six months ago I met Nina there by chance. Nina was one of the three bullies of the C team and, while I have forgiven them now, it doesn't mean I want to have anything to do with her, so I tried to stay professional and act as if nothing was wrong. Anyway, physically she hasn't changed much, I mean, she has grown up since middle school, obviously, but I could still recognize her. The same cannot be said for me probably, in middle school I was obese, white like snow and I had light brown hair. While now I'm fit, my skin is a bit more pink and my hair has darkened in the last few years. When some of my friends look at my old photos, they struggle to recognize me. We didn't talk for. Much as I was working and she initially didn't recognize me but when one of my colleagues called me to ask me something, she connected the dots, I have a particular name that is rare in our country, as it's really old-fashioned and nobody uses it anymore. Imagine, I don't know, being called Aristotle today. Once she recognized me, her demeanor changed drastically and she got out pretty soon. She came back a couple of times in the following months and she was quite shy toward me whenever we interacted. Few weeks ago she got mildly drunk and she started sobbing and ranting about what a crappy person she was in the past and how her life is shit. It was the classic drunken rambling and I didn't pay it much attention, I simply stopped serving her alcohol and gave her some water but at some point she grabbed my hand while I was taking away one of the empty glasses and she apologized. I have to say it felt weirdly good. She didn't come back in the following weeks but a few days ago she texted me on social media, apologizing profusely for whatever she did while drunk and then she suddenly asked me out. At the time I was evidently too stupid or tired to understand clues and didn't understand it was meant as a date. She asked me out for a coffee and I thought she simply wanted to apologize in person or talk about the past in a more sober state. I realized my mistake yesterday, when I talked about it with a friend. Now I'm torn on what I should do. On one side, what Nina did in the past has conditioned me greatly and I can't simply forget about it. On the other hand, she really looks apologetic and she seems to have changed. It's been 15 years and maybe I should give her a chance. Update 1. After reading your advice, I decided to meet Nina for that coffee. It was awkward but it wasn't that bad. She apologized profusely about the past. I thought her apologies would make me feel good but to be honest, I was wrong. The truth is that I still think badly of the Nina who bullied me in middle school but I couldn't see that Nina and the current Nina, I don't know if what I'm trying to say makes sense or if my brain finally decided to give up on me, her voice, her demeanor, everything except for her face is completely different. I told her exactly how what she and the other bullies did affected me and then I decided to forgive her. More or less. I decided to start over as strangers and told her as much. I told her that while I couldn't forget what she did in the past, I don't know the current Nina. It's been 14 years since those times, more than half of our lives have passed since then and I firmly believe people can change so, if she wanted to try and get to know the current me, we could act as if that was the first time we met and move on from then. I don't know if this decision shows my maturity or my stupidity, I guess the future will tell. I admit what she did next made me giggle a bit, I think she took it from a film but I don't remember which one, she stood up and got out of the coffee shop, then came back in, sat down and introduced herself. We chatted for a bit and it was okay. I want to thank all the people who gave me advice in the comment section of the previous post. Update 2. Since my previous update, we went out twice. The first time was around a week ago, when we went to the library. It wasn't a date. I'm currently writing a book and need some reference material. While I was on my way there, she texted me and asked me if I was free. I explained what I was doing and she decided to join me. We read some books for a couple of hours, took a coffee and parted. The second time was last Saturday. I went out with a couple of friends and I invited her to come with us. I suppose I should introduce my friends to give a full picture of the situation. Mike is my best friend since school. He currently lives in another town due to work but he comes to hang out with our friends during the weekend. The second is Maori. I want to say he is the brave one in the group but I think reckless would be more fitting. Last but not least there is Lucia. She is Maori's sister and, despite being the youngest, she is a bit like a mom for our group of friends. She is the responsible one and the one who tries to bring a bit of sanity in the group. My friends know about the past and I talked about my bullies to them. They weren't exactly thrilled to meet Nina. We went bowling and then ate lunch together. Nothing meaningful happened, until Lucia makes a sly comment to Nina about the past, and a whole bunch of arguing kicked off. It ended with Lucia telling Nina to go die in a hole. I wasn't too sure why she took it to the extreme, but it turned out she and Nina had a secret relationship in school and Nina was the first person who ever broke her heart. I apologized profusely to Nina when I dropped her home that night. Update 3. Me and Nina hung out together three more times in the two weeks following my previous post. 
One time was with four of my other friends. We all went to the bowling alley. I would love to say I'm good at it but no, I suck at bowling. I placed second to last but I had fun anyway. Nina is quite good at it. She got second place. After that one of them insisted we all went out for dinner so we ended up eating at a nearby restaurant. I learned some good things about Nina that day, especially the fact that she loves Doctor Who, including the original series that came out in 1963. The original series of Doctor Who never aired in my country so it's rare, even among fans, to find someone who actually watched it, so it was quite the surprise and it was good to finally be able to talk about it with someone who understood what I was talking about. The second time we hung out was when she invited me to hang out with three of her friends, Valentina, Mary and her boyfriend Danny. Nothing particular happened. We all just went to drink something and chatted a bit. They all seemed like good. People. Mary and Danny are lovebirds, while Valentina is probably the most talkative person I have ever met. The third time we were alone. It was a Saturday and I just wanted to chill out at home, watch a couple of movies, write a bit and try some new recipes. I wanted to have a second opinion on what I was cooking and I knew most of my friends were busy so I invited Nina as my taste tester. I tried two recipes and, while the first was pretty good, I completely butchered the second one. I think I desecrated the chicken I used for that one and his soul will come back to haunt me someday. We laughed about my failed attempt and ate the good one. We were in a good mood so we decided to watch some Netflix. It was a fun afternoon and at the end of it we actually talked a bit about us, she told me that she still wanted to date me and that she had fun hanging out in the past few months so, if I wanted to, we could try going out together. To be completely sincere, at the time I was still questioning if it was a good idea or not but I was having fun with Nina and I didn't perceive any kind of malice in her words, so I accepted. I told her that we could go out together on an actual date. She was enthusiastic, surprised and I think a bit nervous, as she started stuttering a bit. I escorted her to her car and came back home. The next thing she did actually made me giggle a bit. It had not been even 10 minutes since I went back inside and she suddenly rang at my door and, when I opened up, she said, Hi, it's been a while. I'm here for our first date. She was giggling and smiling and I admit, a piece of me fell for her in that moment. We did something simple, took a walk around town, grabbed a bite and called it a night. So, yeah, we are dating currently. If I remember correctly, someone in the comment section of my first update actually predicted this. I should probably go back and tell him he was right. In the past two weeks, we had three more dates and things. Seemed good. She went back to our hometown for Easter but we will have a movie night the day after tomorrow. Well, this is pretty much all what happened in the past month. I think it's plenty enough for one update but there is one major thing I have yet to reveal to all of you. Nina actually found out about this series of posts. I don't know how she did it but she recognized a couple of clues. She asked me about it and, strangely enough, she is actually enthusiastic about it. 